to I wanted to point this out though before we end about Deuteronomy 32, 8 and 9. Because you believe that Yahweh is the most high, right? Yes. And I want to prove that the most high is El. It's two different gods, it's two different deities. We go to Deuteronomy 32, 8 and 9. I'll wait for you to get to. You said Deuteronomy. 32, 8 and 9. You asking some good questions. Right. So Deuteronomy 32, 8 and 9. Go ahead. Yeah. It says, when El, when El Elyon, the most high. So when it's talking about the most high, it's talking about El, El Elyon. The most high divided to the nations their inheritance. When he, when El separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. Now listen to this. For Yahweh's portion is Jacob's people. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. So it was El who divided the nations. It was El who separated the sons of Adam. It was El who set the bounds of the people. It was El who gave Israel to Yahweh. Correct? Bro, I... <laughs> you don't see that? Show it. You got to prove that. I just don't. Let me read it again. No, I'm saying where where are you getting where are you getting this whole L? What I want you to do is prove what you're saying. Where? Bring it out, brother. That's all I'm do telling you. Do you know what L Elion means? What it means? It means the Most High. It means the so Most High, right? So Yahweh, Yahweh is not doing this. He's not dividing the nation. He was given an inheritance. He was given Israel as a portion, right? <laughs> Who gave his? Who gave him? So his when the most, it just said when the most high. I'm at 15. percent So after this, we'll get into the, the Q and A real quick. We'll do 15 minutes Q and A. Uh, so it said when the most high. You said it's El Elyon, right? Right. Divided to the nations their inheritance. El El Elyon is the most high God, correct? Right. When he separated the sons of Adam, I like the way you brought that out so everybody can hear that. The most high did the separating. He set the bounds, meaning boundaries of the people, according to the number of the children of Israel. Verse nine, for the Lord's portion is his people. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. That's what it's about. So now what was your your initial point about the El Elyon and the so was the so, the so, so was Yahweh given something as a portion? No. So it's not saying that it's saying that Jacob's what Jacob was his line, right? A lot of his inheritance. So of, Yahweh, of the most Yahweh, high inheritance. Right. Yahweh inherited something, right? Do you know what Yahweh mean? I mean, I'm not caught up in the name. I'm just trying to No, but no, that name is important. I'm caught up in the name. It don't mean the most high. It, the Yahweh Yah is the Most High. Yahweh is the Most High God. Well, why was the Most High given a, given an inheritance? It don't say that, bro. How you drawing that conclusion from that? Let's read it again. It says, it says, when the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance, when the he nation. separated, yes, to the to the who? To the nations. What to, the, to the nations, their inheritance. Nation? All the nations. He divided the nations. El did that, right? El Elyon. The Most High did that. El. The Most Yahweh. High. Not Yahweh. Yahweh is the Most High. He not. That's what prove I'm trying to tell you. Prove that he not. His portion was Israel. He was given Israel as the lot of his inheritance. Prove that the Most High is not, I mean, Yahweh is not the Most High. Bro, right you're now. not listening. It says Yahweh's portion. He has a portion of something. So he was what given, you, he was given what Israel are you talking as an about inheritance. This? What are you talking about? I just told you that Yahweh is the Most High God. 
That's what you're not seeing that I'm showing you he's not. How can he give himself something? You up? ain't proving it, though. How, where you drawing his conclusion from? How can he from? give himself something, bro? That's all I'm asking. What, what verbiage or wordage are you using to prove that? What word is what word is Yahweh here? It says that he inherited something, right? No, what word is Yahweh? Which word are you looking at as Yahweh? That's why I asked you what, do you know what Yahweh no, means? No, I'm saying when it says Lord. So Lord mean Yahweh? No, 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 no. I'm saying that Israel is Yahweh's inheritance, right? Yes, the he's most the high. God, he's the God of Israel. That's what I'm showing you. He the most high is the, the most high God. The most high God is the God of Israel, brother. You want me to go to right. another scripture and tell you that? That's what I'm it's saying. A, that, that bro, it's a, a plethora of scripture that says that. Right. That was a portion that he was given an inheritance. He right. He's showing you the Israel. separation. He was get Israel is his. He wasn't given nothing. Israel is no. his portion. It don't say anything about giving nothing. That's what inheritance means. You don't know what inheritance means. To inherit something means to be given something. What are you talking about? It says that Israel is the lot. What does lot mean? It's the lot of his inheritance. Keep What's reading. lot mean? What's lot it's mean? It's the lot of his inheritance. That's a portion of something. It's saying, it's saying it what it means. It's telling you right so, here. So, so you just drawing that whole conclusion off of what you just read? What How is you It says that he inherited Israel, bro. That's what it says. Read it again. Watch, look, verse yeah, 8. Stop, know, stop, stop, stop Jerry. No, Wait a minute. You got to stop, bro. bro. Just, you add to the scripture. Look, it says, when the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance. What you talking about?